Welcome to World Breaker Coup's Reviews. I'm your host, World Breaker Coup, and we are looking at Marvel... Oh, wow. I do this so much, I'm used to saying Marvel Legends, but we're looking at DC Bombshells Katana. For once, we're looking at DC figures. This should be a happy, joyous, momentous occasion. I think it is. So we're looking at DC Bombshells Katana, um, another Aunt Lucia design. Um, and uh, we're going to check out how cool she is. We'll take a look at the box. There she is from the side, looking all good. Here are the Wave 2 action figures. I've seen all of them today. Um, you'll have to wait to see which other ones I may or may not have bought as well. Um, but the packaging has changed on these bombshell figures. Um, and I know for sure because I also bought the uh, Harley Quinn. Is it the last one I bought today? Probably not. But this is Series 1. Um, and let me know if you can tell something different. Series 1 had something different from series two okay it's the amount of accessories so the box is also different but the accessories is a common trend now where it's a huge difference but back to katana let's get out the box and once we get back from the break we'll give her a nice review there she is out of the package and folks this might be a world breaker coup first as of right now, on October 25th, no one else has reviewed this action figure yet on YouTube from what I've seen. Um, and honestly, um, she is by far my favorite uh, out of this bombshell lineup so far. Um, very nice. The colors, uh, let's, let's get in close. Look at that paint. I mean, it's a little choppy on her face, just a little bit. But her complexion is just vibrant, you know? Um, I love the little flowers, the geisha. Uh, outfit meets samurai with the arm the in, uh, arm there. That's a nice little wood grain um, effect here on the shoulder pe shoulder pad. Um, I like the little bow behind. Um, some of the paints got a little bit of chips here and there, but folks, look at that uh, the bun. That's some more minor effects, but the chopsticks there look great. The earrings are on point. Um, she has the um, tattoo as well i might end up having to pick up the statue too because I, I don't know a lot about katana i know she is was a part of justice league america as well as um suicide squad and you know her, she revolves around the sword um but i'm really not that versed with her i'm not gonna lie to you most times i am but this time i really just like uh japanese culture which is why you see the katanas up there um, and I just like the way this action figure looked, so I had to go ahead and pick this up. Um, and it's gorgeous. Um, $28, I, I believe, is the going price. I got it for $22. Most comic shops, if you pre-order, you can get a little bit of a discount. Um, I'm going to shout out to Dreamland Comics in Schaumburg as they, you know, sell this for $22 for me. So, nice for that. Uh, but yes, art as far as articulation... Yes, she can bend at the legs. Oh my God. Okay, whoo. Thought I broke it on camera. <laughs> so, yeah, let me get this back in. Okay, folks, I fixed it, but I'm gonna be completely honest with you. Be very careful with the leg joints. Um, in here, you can kind of see, um, there's a little bit of scuffage here on mine. Um, these don't, work the leg joints don't work the best they're very stiff and easy to fall off and very hard to get back on um because the pegs on the inside both go up and down they keep moving as you're trying to put the leg on um again beautiful figure be very careful how much articulation you want to show with it um, i think dc collectibles did a great job with how they hit the knee um it's double jointed um but with this with her skirt you're not going to get much out of it, um, out of the double jointed leg. So there's that. Um, I will say she is by far the easiest DC bombshell I've had to stand just yet because for one, um, let's take a look at her shoes. Yeah, those are dope. Um, and I love how it looks, you know, like they can just fall off easily, but they glue it on. Um, again, that's freaking awesome. I mean, they... You know, hats off to these guys. They killed it. Um, highly recommend um, this piece, um, even with her leg issues. 
again, like I said, that's going to be a problem going forward. If um, hopefully it's just mine, um, but uh, it, it did fall off pretty um, easily just by bending the joint. So you can kind of hear how stiff it is. Um, I guess we'll look at the, el the uh, elbow. That's some impressive, you know, bend. It looks like she's sprinkling some of that uh, the seasoning salt from that commercial. That one guy who is like this and sprinkles it on the meat. She can do that. There you go. Sprinkle that. Sprinkle that seasoning. Yeah, get some of that seasoning. Um, the sword is nice, pliable, very small and thin. But you know, I dig it. Um, she can still get some, you know, nice bend, bend out of this. Um, as far as her head goes, uh, there's no. You can get some swivel going on here. Um, not a lot of up and down motion, uh, but her actual waist, you know, a little bit down, a little bit up, not much. It's okay. Um, at the end of the day, it's not game breaking, uh, but it's not bad. Um, I do like it. And just to compare her to some of her, the season, the um, the, ish, the one wave, uh, wave one variants, we've got Wonder Woman, who's very hard to stand because of her legs. Let's see if I can get her standing. And we're, I'm just gonna hold her up like that. And then we have Poison Ivy. Um, they look great, look at that. That's awesome. Um, I look forward to not having uh, more figures with heels in the future because they are very challenging to stand um, overall, so. Um, I do very much dig this uh, set that DC's doing. Um, I hope they keep it up in the future because um, I think it's hot. I think it's hot. So I hope you've enjoyed this review. And if you have not seen my previous Bombshell review, take a look at that video right there. And if you don't subscribe, subscribe right there. And until next time, thanks for watching. Peace.